Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at Microsoft Teams. By using Teams, you can stay in touch and continue to collaborate wherever you are. You can access your OneDrive files, have meetings and calls online, chat with coworkers, and post updates that will be available for your whole team. Everything you need for productive, collaborative work is built right in. Within the Teams program, you'll see one or more teams. Now, a team is a group of people within your organization. These teams can be only created by those with the right permissions and will most likely be already set up for you. If you're the administrator of your company's Teams account and you need help setting up your first team, click the link in the description called Set Up My First Team. Let's get started by taking a look at the Teams account for my fictional company, MCG Consulting. In your app on the left-hand side, you'll see an option for Teams. Clicking this will show you the teams that you're a member of. Teams are made up of channels, which are the conversations you have with your teammates. Each channel is dedicated to a specific topic, department, or project. Channels are where the work actually gets done, where text, audio, and video conversations with the whole team happens. It's where files are shared and where apps are added. Let's take a look at my channels. Under the section marked Your Teams, you will see the teams and channels you're a member of. For me, under the MCG Consulting team, you see two channels, General and Marketing team. Once you've created a team, you want to add your own specific channels. To do this, click the three dots next to a team name, then select Add Channel. Give it a name, add a description if you like, as well as decide if you want the channel to be open to all users or just those you invite. If you set the channel to private, you will need to click Add, then you can invite specific users. Next, we will look at chats. Chats are where you can have one-on-one -on -one or multi-user conversations with team members. While chatting with one or more team members, you can start a video call, a voice call, or initiate a screen sharing session from the options in the top right hand corner. To start a new chat, click the pen and paper icon to the left of the search bar at the top of the screen. From here, you can type in a person's name, email address, group, or tag to add them to the chat. Here is an example of a one-on-one -on -one chat, but occasionally you want to add a new user to a current chat. By clicking the Add People button in the top right hand corner, you can go from a one-on-one -on -one chat to a multi-user chat or add new members to a pre-existing group chat with ease. Simply type in a name, email, or tag and click Add. Starting a meeting in Teams is very simple and straightforward. If you want to have an impromptu meeting, you can choose Meet Now under the message field from a chat or a channel. All members will be able to join. Once you click Meet Now, give the meeting a subject if you wish, turn your camera on or off, and click Meet Now. You are now in a meeting. Once in the meeting, you can adjust your camera, microphone, share your screen, and much more. To end any meeting, simply click the red Hang Up button. You can get a specific individual's attention within a chat by using the at mentions feature. To get a team member's attention, type the at symbol and then start typing their name. This message will be flagged for them and will show a red at symbol next to the message. This can be done within channels and within chats. This is a helpful way to get a team member's attention, especially if they have notifications turned off or are not regularly in the chat or channel. Once you get working within Teams, you'll most likely want to collaborate on files with your team members. You can attach a file to any message by selecting Attach below where you write your messages. Choose Upload from My Computer and select a file from your local machine. Once you send the file, it will automatically appear in the chat as well as in the Files tab found above the channel. This allows you to reference any past attachments from other team members. To stay efficient, it's a good idea to pin channels that you use more than others. Pin channels you work with most often and they'll appear at the top of your list under Pinned for quick access. 
To do so, select the three dots next to the frequent channel, then select pin. Notice how it moves to the top of the list. Speaking of efficiency, there are tons of shortcuts to make Teams easier to use. Do you prefer to use a keyboard instead of a mouse? Teams probably has a shortcut for you. While in the Teams app, press the control and period button simultaneously to display a list of available keyboard shortcuts. Some of you may benefit from application integration within Teams. You can create custom tabs to give your teammates easy access to the files, tools, and sites they use every day. Select the plus icon next to the tabs at the top of your chat or channel to add a new app. It will be visible to all of your teammates instantly. Perhaps your company uses Ignite for their cloud-hosted file sharing platform. You can add the Ignite app for instant integration within Teams. Teams isn't all business either. Sometimes a GIF can lighten the mood or inject some personality into your conversations. Select the GIF button under the box where you type your message and search for the one you want. Select send when ready. Have a question about Teams? In the bottom left corner of Teams is where you'll find help. Select help and then topics. Then browse the feature topics or search for something you need. You can also check out the training tab for short how-to videos to get you up to speed on Teams. Next, it's good to always be in the know with notifications. Notifications keep you current with what's happening in your Teams, and there are two places where you can manage your notifications. First, you can select your picture at the top right of Teams, choose settings, then notifications. Or you can control them at the channel level. Select more options or the three dots next to the channel, then channel notifications. Next, we'll look at the activity tab. The activity tab is where you can see all of your notifications from at mentions to replies to conversations you started all in one place. You specify what shows up in your activity tab via your notification settings. You can find the activity tab at the top left of Teams. Did you get invited to a Teams meeting via email? You have a few ways to join. See a dial-in number or a conference ID? You can use these to call into the meeting. This is especially useful if you're not in the office, at your desk, or just on the move. If you have Teams installed on your computer or on your smartphone, you can click the Join Microsoft Teams meeting link and this will take you into the Teams app and straight into the meeting. Before you join, you can choose your audio and video settings, mute your mic, turn on and off your camera, or even blur your background. Once your settings are set, click join now. Now you're in the meeting. But what if you don't have the Teams app installed but you still want to join a meeting from your computer? You can by clicking the same join Microsoft Teams meeting link. This will take you to a page that will allow you to download the app or join via the web. If you choose to join via the web, you will be prompted to type your name, do so, set your audio and video preferences, and join by clicking Join Now. Depending on your meeting settings by the organizer, you will either be put into a lobby where the organizer can admit you, or you'll be joined to the meeting right away. And those are all the ways you can join a Teams meeting. As previously stated, you can take Teams with you. The Teams mobile app can help you connect and collaborate wherever you are. The app is available on iOS and Android. Chat with your colleagues, join meetings on the go, and access all of your Teams, channels, files, and more. If you use Microsoft Outlook, as well as Microsoft Teams, you can also start an impromptu meeting from your calendar within the Teams app. On the left-hand side, you'll see Calendar. Click this, and you'll be taken into the calendar view. From here, at the top right corner, you can click Meet Now. This will allow you to title your meeting, and then join. From here, you'll be able to invite any participants you wish. You can also schedule a new Teams meeting from your Outlook client. From your calendar at the top ribbon, you can click on New Teams Meeting. 
This will open up a new meeting window and auto-populate your team's information at the bottom automatically. Simply give it a title, invite those you wish to join, and click Send. And that's just a brief introduction to Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to learn more, you can always check out our blog at salvastg.com or by using the Help function of Teams in the bottom left-hand corner.